On September 2014, a space probe launched by the Indian Space Research Organization prepared to enter the Mars orbit. Two years later, back on Earth, a team of scientists made their way through the icy deserts of Ladakh to study life in extreme conditions. It was an international group comprising scientists from NASA, the Mars Society Australia, and Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleosciences. India's premier institute that has worked persistently since 1946 to generate a vast trove of knowledge in the field of paleosciences which has proven vital to our understanding of India's natural history. Such research generates invaluable data for scientists studying Mars, providing them with clues as to what life might look like in the extreme conditions of space. And the Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleosciences is at the forefront of this effort helping India and the world take great strides in understanding our planet. Simply put, we cannot build a stable, sustainable future without understanding the past. And the Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleosciences, India's premier institute dedicated to geology and botany, is at the forefront of developing this knowledge for India and the world. The formal study of the paleosciences in India began with Professor Birbal Sahni, who is known as the father of Indian paleobotany. In 1939, three years after being elected as the Fellow of the Royal Society in London, Professor Sahni put together a committee to formalize the study of paleobotany in India. In 1946, Professor Sahani's efforts led to the formation of a Paleobotany Institute under the Botany Department of the Lucknow University. And three years later, the then Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, laid the foundation stone for the Institute's building. However, just seven days after the foundation had been laid, Professor Sahani passed away but he had already laid the seed to grow India's study and knowledge of our own geological and biological history. In 1969, the institute Professor Sahani helped build was deemed as an autonomous research organization under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Initially, research was focused on the fundamental aspects of fossil flora, that is, ancient plant life which had turned into fossils. But over time, BSIP's mission evolved to include understanding the origin and evolution of life through geological time, understanding climate change in recent times and our ancient past, understanding past civilizations and human history, applying the principles of paleosciences to aid exploration programs of oil and coal industry. This mission, which guides BSIP's research efforts, not only enhances our understanding of the world, but actively seeks answers to some of our most pressing concerns, such as climate change and energy security. To carry out this mission, BSIP has embraced many branches of paleosciences. This includes biostratigraphic dating, which is establishing the age of rocks using fossils, correlating surface and subsurface sediments, radiocarbon dating, and exploring areas favorable for fossil fuel deposits and hydrocarbon exploration. The Institute also regularly participates in paleoclimatic studies in the Arctic and Antarctic region. 
in its broadest sense, BSIP seeks to interpret geological processes, plant and environmental evolution through time. This makes it a truly interdisciplinary organization equipped with state-of-the-art facilities that help deepen our knowledge of the Indian atmosphere, lithosphere and biosphere. Paleo scientists' work is like that of detectives. They study evidence to reconstruct past events. Their investigations and findings can have application for the present and the future. Today, BSIP has decided to collaborate with three other institutes within India to answer questions on astrobiology. The institute has even set up a laboratory to search the evolution of life. Life on Earth is based on carbon. Similarly, life on another planet may be possible because of carbon or a similar element. The laboratory will find answers. For instance, we know that Mars has a rocky surface. BSIB will study if those rocks can harbor life. Such advanced studies would not be possible if it weren't for the state-of-the-art facilities at BSIP. The maceration facility at BSIP is among the best in the country, which allows the institute to carry out rigorous microfossil studies. Maceral studies along with coal petrography at BSIP are sought after by both the academia and industry. The institute also has the manpower and the infrastructure to practice palynology, that is, the study of pollen, dendrochronology, which is the study of tree rings, paleomagnetic and geochemical studies, and radiocarbon dating. Over time, the institute has upgraded its labs and today is filled with cutting-edge equipment. The isotopic ratio mass spectrometer, inductive coupled plasma mass spectrometer, gas chromatography mass spectrometer and X-ray diffraction allow for the study of geochemical and mineralogical composition of samples. Meanwhile, field emission scanning electron microscope Raman spectroscopy and confocal laser scanning microscope help scientists get an extremely close look at samples collected from the field. The existing radiocarbon dating laboratory has now been equipped with graphitic formation so that low carbon bearing samples can be dated in accelerator mass spectrometer. And in order to date extremely old sediments, a Lumisense Dating Laboratory has been established by BSIP. With such infrastructure and a leading team of researchers, BSIP creates a rich environment of learning for scientists as well as industry. The Institute conducts contract training program in palynology and coal and lignite petrography for industrial sectors. It also provides hands-on training in geochemistry and OSL dating. A PhD program too has been started under ACSIR guidelines for biological and physical sciences. BSIP has also set up a museum to preserve as well as inform the society of India's rich geological heritage. Professor Sahani's collections from all over the globe make the museum's repository particularly stunning. A special attraction is the building's foundation stone which has 77 fossils embedded in it by Professor Sahani. This foundation stone was laid by the then Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. The in-house herbarium offers a comparison between present and past vegetation. In 2018, another special attraction was added to the museum's rich collection. 
A 4200-year-old piece of stalagmite recovered from the Momlu cave in Meghalaya. The stalagmite represents Meghalayan, the newest time slice added to the Holocene epoch of the geological time scale. As we stand in the midst of a major climatic event, the future seems unknown, full of mysteries and challenges. What remains unchanged is the collective human will to build a better world. And to do that, we must understand our past. Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleo Sciences stands at the edge of time. The institute is helping India's understanding of its own geological history as well as contributing to world's knowledge of our planet. By studying the clues left behind by the past, the institute is helping India and the world build a better future.